Big Ten. They've obviously put a lot of thought into this, and you know, they've made it a great experience for uh, first and foremost our student athletes, who I think have enjoyed this. <laughs> And, and I've enjoyed it as a coach, and I think it was really important to do it coming off the season that we just had in women's basketball in the Big Ten that, that we really need to make sure we're promoting um, our league and, and the programs in the league. You, you talked earlier about the season that you guys had, and, and obviously having some, some struggles and, and some tough moments that you guys had to learn, learn from. As a coach, how does a season like that shape you? Yeah, you know, last year was obviously um, a challenge on so many fronts. COVID, we had a postseason ban, so we had a lot, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of obstacles. And uh, you know, in general, really proud of the team and how we competed, and the, just the competitive character that they showed throughout to have a successful season. And then at the end, you know, especially when uh, Madison went out, we struggled a little bit, and so certainly learned the importance of her. That's for sure. And um, you know, kind of got me thinking too, like. You know, hopefully we don't have to play without her, but um, just just to make sure we're prepared if we ever have to do that again. What what did you learn from some of the girls that had to step up when, when she goes out like that? What what did you learn from those who were who had to fill that void? Well, you know, I, I think one of the like really key things is the development of Katiri Pool, and um, you know we we really th threw her into some tough moments last year as such a young player. Uh, but she's had a great off season, and, and I think you know if we get in the same situation this year, she's going to really be able to step up and make a big difference. Not not to dwell on the negative, but with all the things that you did deal with, was there a hardest point for you last year? I would say just kind of getting started. Um, you know, really battling through COVID and all the protocols and keeping the team together, and because that all that was coinciding with the same time we were announcing the postseason ban, so we kind of had. It. Got a, got hit with a lot right there in the beginning of the year, and so. But I was, you know, really, like I said, really proud of our players the way they stayed together and, and played for each other and, and all that we accomplished. Well, and I remember talking to you in the preseason about how you had been able to sort of mix and match where people were, and you felt like you were gonna, despite not having a summer, you liked where you guys you, you were as a team because of how you know connected. You, you, I, it's tough. I imagine it had to have been tough. You came into the preseason with high expectations for where you guys, for where you were as a team, and then to get hit with all that stuff pretty early on. Yeah, it was really tough because we had such high expectations and, and we're really, really excited about you know, the opportunity to have a great season and compete in postseason play, and you know, that was taken from us. Um, so, so it was very, very difficult, and those were those were hard moments to start the year for sure. Um, the the additions to the to the coaching staff was, I guess, first off, uh, adding adding uh, someone from Michigan. Uh, you know, like yeah, th that's a it's an interesting wrinkle to a season. What what is that like? Yeah, you know, um, it just as it turned out, West was a great fit, and uh, we needed uh, I think a little bit um, of a spark in recruiting. And he's got tremendous energy there. He's well known throughout the country. He's got great contacts, and he's done a great job since he's been here so far. And then also a adding uh, Jalen. Um, yeah, Jalen. You know, she worked for. Um, one of my former assistants at Arkansas, so I was very familiar with her, and, and I think she's got a very, very bright future. She's a rising star in this game, and uh, one of the things I really wanted to add is just somebody that could really connect with our players, and she's done a great job developing relationships and has a great kind of pulse for each kid and kind of what's going on with the team just to make sure we're kind of on the right track and going in the right direction. Does that, as, as, a head, as the head coach, does that um, challenge you to, to maybe look at things a, a different way? When you bring in new voices like that, I feel like that always – you know, as a leader, maybe that makes you look at things differently or approach situations differently. How, how has new voices in the room impacted you? Yeah, it has. It kind of it kind of keeps things fresh and gives given me some new perspective on a couple of things, especially just dealing with our players and and just uh, connecting with them and making sure that you know we're together as a team. You know, both Wes and Jalen have brought really good ideas in that space. Wanted, wanted to get some thoughts from you as well on Braxton. Um, just what. What what it means, I guess, having having her come back, and 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 what sort of impact you think she might have this year? Yeah, she's a she's a terrific leader for in our program, and um, she's also got one of the highest basketball IQs of of anybody that you know I've ever coached. Um, she's also a great defender and takes a lot of pride in that. So she does a lot of little things that really help our team. And you know, we still have young players that we're going to count on this year. And, and I think with her leadership and experience. They're going to grow faster and be better than if she wasn't here.